What's good guys, welcome back to another video. Um, we ran into some issue with the last video, a lot of people called me out, oh, blah 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 blah, this is fake, this and the other, it's not fake, there's Luna, right, there's Impulse, nothing fake about it, and that's not a picture, like, that's, I can, I can still touch everything, I can still interact with both of the menus, see, I'm good at editing, but like, that would be a pain to do, um, but anyways, that's not what this video is about. Um, we're gonna be talking about the um, the recovery setting for Luna, right? So Luna right now is, I think, probably one of the only menus that even has a recovery option. That's good, because uh, if you don't know, Impulse's recovery option is, is, is pretty godly. Um, but that was before Luna. Now that Luna is pretty much, you know, coming up on the top, we, uh, we're, ha we're having a lot of people do recoveries, including myself, using Luna, which Luna is pretty good. Uh, I've been using it for the past couple of days, co-loaded with Impulse, because if you don't know, Luna, it doesn't really have a lot of, you know, options when it comes to, uh, like, spawning in cars and stuff like that. It has options for, you know, bringing cars into the game, um, when it comes to, like, uh, like modded cars, like, you can change, like, acceleration, the torque, invincibility, invisible, improved grip, all, all, all the good stuff, pretty much, which is great, because, you know, Impulse has it as well, um, it goes into more detail, this is some pretty simple type stuff, I guess you could say, but, um, it's, uh, it's overall, it's overall good, the mechanics and the actual, like, feeling of it is clean, like, it's genuinely good. Um, again, doesn't have a lot of spawning options. Uh, like when it comes to uh, objects, I'm pretty sure. Maybe you could spawn them, but I'm, oh wow, XMLS. I, okay, never mind. I take back what I said. Interesting. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, I do wish it had more options when it comes to like vehicle, like um. What's it called? Uh, when it comes to like, what's the word? Ah uh, man, modifications. That's the word for it. God dang. But overall, really, really good. Really, really good. Um. Oh, I have, I have one huge, huge, huge thing to say. Whatever you do, Can I speak to Dr. do not click this button. See this button right here? I, Don't I click it. Just don't even set your set all your settings without clicking this button. Set all of your settings, and there you go. I know because an alt slash main account I had, I accidentally clicked this button, blow it up. One year and a couple months of bad sport. I'm trying to get it fixed, and I can't fix it. And I was trying to use Impulse to try and like fix it, and still can't fix it. I'm real. I'm even talking to Rockstar because like, you know, that that's a big issue because I'm not doing recoveries. That's that's really sketchy because if I accidentally bad support somebody else's account, um, but uh, yeah, but we're not gonna be looking at that. We're gonna be looking at the recovery settings. So we're gonna come over here to player. We're gonna go down to oh not player. Where was it? There it is, recovery. All right. And again, I do wish this had a lot more peaceful options, but for what it is. I have no problem with it. I would use this right now until Impulse comes out with the update. But we're gonna do the 10.9 money loop. Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna sit here and uh, pretty much wait until we hit. Oh, is 158 million the max? Wait, what? What does it say? You're holding more than fifty thousand to be stolen. Hey, let's get moving, okay? Interesting. Oh shit. You so idiot. We have hundred fifty eight million. Okay, so it's weird. I can't go any higher than that? Alright, let's change sessions real quick. One thing, if you're ever gonna do any recoveries, if you're ever gonna make some money, 
switch sessions before you spend any money and switch sessions um if you ever get a notification like that or something different I've, i haven't seen that notification in a long time so i was even wondering like why it why that happened but that usually happens when before rockstar detects that you're getting like a crap ton of money it pretty much puts in places to make sure that you don't necessarily like even have that money and so it it pretty much sets a, a trigger telling the game oh this and the other you need to put money in your account blah 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 dumb stuff like that but don't worry about that you don't have to worry about that just make sure you switch sessions uh, once you're done doing your recovery and uh, you'll be you'll be good you'll be done so we're in a new session only six people in the session all right Alrighty. oh what Alright, let's throw my outfit back on. Where is it? Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do this, um, set outfits and stuff like that, I'll show you how. It's really easy. But if you guys don't know how to do it, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your like, like a house or something like that, and you're going to have to actually like shove it into the, into the, uh, what's the word? Wardrobe. I'll show you how to do it right now. Uh, once I'm done setting up, Jesus Christ! <laughs> once I'm done setting up this uh, this recovery. Right. Come on, pal. So we're gonna do unlike all achievements. Nice. All right, we're gonna do. All right, level 350. All right. And now, as you see, that's gonna slowly rank us up. Um, I can make this process go by faster by just changing my session. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna change our session, and it'll do that while we're changing the session. But it'll also tell the game that we have a new rank, and so it'll go ahead and it'll fix it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and again, doing this while doing it or before doing it, you could do it in a, I would suggest doing it in a private session. I'm not doing it in a private session because I mean like, I truly don't care. But uh, if you do care, because you know, anything can happen, you can get kicked mid doing this and it mess up your, your rank, it glitch your entire game. You'll go to a run and it'll be like saying you're recording like all the time. Um, just a, a, a bunch of really really weird stuff uh, but to avoid all that either do it in private or do it online and if you do it online make sure to change sessions every now and then because uh, if you don't you're gonna get a bunch of stuff see there you go went from three uh, went from what level like one to 350 but it was slowly progressing me if you want to skip that entire process just go ahead and just switch your session um, and then all will be well so while we're still getting achievements, let's do the 7.9. All right, so it's looking like we're maxed out right now at 158. All right, so this happens. What you're gonna do is you just want to come over here. Oh, can I set up my CEO please? Come on. There you go. Secure serve. Register VAP. We'll just call it Phantom Clan. Oh. Phantom Clan. Alright, so now that you got that set up. There you go. And now that plus this. All right. Well, while we just let the um 7.9 do its cooldown, because I'm pretty sure it has a cooldown. Sometimes it's not like super duper long. Sometimes it's about maybe five ten minutes. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get your modded outfits. So it's kind of like a two-in-one video, I guess you could say. 
Uh, so while that's doing the 5k loop, while we're doing it getting the session, while the game is also registering my unlocks being loaded, um, 7.9 is doing the cooldown. Just changing your session just helps everything go by a lot faster. As you saw, the rank was going by so slow, you were going to sit in the game for what? Almost half an hour waiting for your rank to go up? When you could just change sessions, it happens in an instant. Uh, and if you're afraid to happen for, of it happening in an instant whenever you change a session, you can set it to different things. Um, I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But um, yeah, other than that, oh, real quick, uh, I would like to say thank you for uh, 258 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Um, to those of you that don't know my content and don't know what type of videos I do, it's sort of like informational video. I kind of go in, I see what, uh, you know, the game, how to fix things when it comes to odd menus, how to fix things when it comes to just game mechanics. Uh, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, you guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, and if you're not well just watch the videos and uh, if you have any comments just let me know so we're gonna do so it's still doing the money loop what is that 163 million or 16 million I forget I really don't know all right so we're gonna turn that off all right so we're gonna let that still do its cool down Now we're going to head over to, oh, real quick, um, give me like 20 seconds and I'm going to go and I'm going to buy a, you can do it in a bunker or a house, I would suggest you do it in a house, so give me one second, I'm going to buy a house real quick. Alright, I'm back, um, I had to switch sessions and I also had to, uh, I had to turn off Luna because it was conflicting with Impulse uh, when it came to me using my phone, um, and of course, I need to buy a, I need to buy a place, right? So, I'm gonna come over here. Oh, not over here, what am I doing? Uh, yeah. We're gonna buy a Maze Bank Tower real quick. Is that the most expensive one? Yeah, it is, all right. Let's go buy this one. Personnel, female, of course, my dude. Kind of digging that organization, Phantom Clan. All right, we'll use. Ooh, wait, go back. Kind of like that, but there's no red, and that's upsetting. So gun locker, yep. Safe, yep. Accommodation, yep. Six mil. Done and done. Uh, by garage, of course. At second floor. At third floor. This will be. One of that. Alrighty. Let's see. Kind of like the marble. Or whatever that is. I assume it's marble. Heck yeah, dude. Which one was it? It was that one. It was the first. It was that one, right? Yeah, that's what it was. The garage. Same way. You guys don't need to do all this, by the way. I'm just doing it because um, I want to do it. Might as well get it out the way. Alright, return the map. Come on now. Alright. So, we're going to buy a house. Need services. Come on, buddy. Apartments, like tears, modern, sharp. Monochrome, dude. Return 
turn the map. Alright, we're gonna spawn in a big boy so we can go zooming. Alright. Oh, real quick. Just come over here to movement and bypass max speed. Breaking is insane. Nutty breaking. But uh, yeah, so the process is pretty simple. I'm gonna do so. You're gonna need a house or anything that has a closet. Really, you could do this in your penthouse. You need something that has a, a closet. Pretty much. I'm playing a controller, but on um, I'm gonna show you how to do it on. What is it? On a keyboard, because you know most people are using a keyboard. If, you, if your computer doesn't have a keyboard, that's it's pretty bad. Imagine having one of those one of those PlayStation or Xbox controls with like a bunch of buttons on the bottom. But uh, yeah, so you're gonna need to walk on into your house. Uh, and for me. Um, I actually have uh, if you, to do to do this glitch. First off, um, the items that you have can't be blacklisted, and they also can't be like things that are just like you can't find in the game. Like if you have something that's like you can only find like in a heist or stuff like that. Oh, I have the eyepiece moving on. Hold on. Where is it? Protection. Let's turn that off real quick. Try this again. Open sesame, dude. But yeah, so you can't have any blacklisted items or items that you can't find in the game. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Other than that, you can do whatever. Nice. Okay. So, find your. You gonna can I out the cutscene? God dang. All right. So I just put on a random outfit. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk over to your dresser uh, and make sure that you have an outfit saved already. So if you're on controller, uh, you're gonna want to hit the furthest button to the left. Um, and if you're on PC, you're gonna want to hit space. Uh, and so I have this one and that one. So this one is the one I'm going to save to. All right. And so now this one, this one's just a random outfit. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go to. Actually, hold on. Just to make sure, I'm actually gonna delete that one. Oh, uh, okay, tab. Yes, I do. Okay, so now that we just have this outfit, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to player. We're gonna wanna go to uh, wardrobe. Uh, load outfits. Make sure you go ahead and just save, make a random outfit. Once you're done making, you're gonna hit save, then hit load. So I have this one saved. So of course I have a um, I have a duffel bag and I can't have this on. So if you have it modded mod mod outfit like this, um, this is a blacklisted item. So I can't even open this by my avatar that space. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna want to click it, and I'm just gonna stand here very still. And I'm actually just all oh, crap. Okay. So. I'm just going to change that real quick. And this is really hard to do, especially since you have an outfit like this, where I have things layered on top of each other. And if you want to know how to layer things on top of each other, um, what you need to do is you need to make an outfit. And as soon as you make an outfit, you're going to want to save it. Right? As soon as you save it, you're going to want to make a random outfit. And then you're going to want to add on to that. I'll show you guys how to do that. It's really simple and really easy.
right so you could go through and you could figure out each outfit and kind of just put them together and you could do the random um but what i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way um just spam m tier a bunch of a bunch of times that way he doesn't take off his helmet so if i walk forward a little bit i'm most likely taking my helmet and if i don't congratulations you done did it good you done did it good so first section that was basically what you can go through you can go through the all the faces and all that stuff it kind of just makes a match everything you can do the random outfit plus the random prop um but for the sake of time um i'm just i, I didn't i didn't think it was gonna work but you know I always try things so now that i have that on i'm gonna come over here and we're just gonna go to parachute mix variation and we're just gonna change this to that change the shoes usually that doesn't really work that that often there you go all right so now that you have that quickly walk up to it hit enter or e there you go and there you go now you have your outfit glitched you're going to hit outfits right. and we're going to do this one the one that i had originally and you're just going to hit enter and there you go now that you have this outfit saved anytime you ever go anywhere in the game um it's always there and if i ever want to do another outfit like let's say um for instance we'll do another outfit we'll just make a random outfit real quick oh load outfits and we'll just do a random outfit real quick Props. There you go. We'll do this one right. Actually, no. I think that one's blacklisted because of the shirt. There you go. We'll do this one. This one looks super weird. So, come over here. Hit enter. You're gonna hit space. Uh, and see, it snapped my mask off immediately. So, we can't do that one. We got lucky the first time. So, we're just gonna go. Here you go. We'll do. We'll try and save this one right here. The OG one. Oh, I'm just gonna hit that a bunch. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Oh, so real quick. Leave and enter. Oh, we got close. Oh, it was just there you go. Perfect. So it glitched off. We're gonna hit space. We're gonna name this one. Yep, yep, or yep, yep, and there you go. So now, anytime you ever want to load an outfit, you can just hit M, and without any type of menu, come over. You're gonna hit Enter a couple times, so that way everything snaps on. Because if you just hit Enter once, sometimes the uh, the pipe that you see will not always be there. Sometimes the back the backpack will actually disappear from what it usually is. And that don't happen sometimes. If you guys ever want to fix that, what you guys need to do, pretty simple. You're going to go to teleport. And we'll just go to ammunition real quick. We'll run over here. And we'll just come up here. Parachutes. Yep. Primary parachute. We'll just change. Our parachute. No. Nope. Okay, we'll do red smoke. Parachute bags. 